learned about your defense so far this spring? Uh, I think, you know, we had a resilient group. Uh, the guys that loved working. Uh, we have to take significant strides from the end of this spring game. Uh, we have to continue to get stronger at the point of attack. Uh, we have to um, continue working on all the finished parts of every position specific. Linebacker, we got to knock back the ball better. Uh, DBs, when the ball's in the air, 50-50 balls, we got to be more uh, efficient at winning those. Uh, and guys up front, we have to continue to get stronger and bigger and be able to establish the line of scrimmage. Looks like you've got several candidates to play alongside Jack at inside linebacker. Can you talk a little bit about some of the main candidates to, for that starting role? Really, all those guys have opportunities to play. Uh, I feel very comfortable with uh, with the guys that we have. Uh, I think Sergio has done a very nice job of picking things up. Uh, he did not show uh, there was no real delay on him learning the system. So that's been uh, that's been very. Um, um, promising for him. He's learned quickly. Uh, he's a, he's a uh, solid finisher. He's strong in the point of attack. Blake Ancelotis has had another good spring. Um, he's got to keep getting him uh, on the field. And, uh, Hunter, with his uh, move from safety, I thought took tremendous strides from where he was practice one to where he is at practice 13. Uh, I'm excited for Saturday uh, to let him go out and, and get off the field and just let him kind of process and and uh, you know show me what he's developed. Well, Yosefa has had a bunch of uh, bunch of starts for us, bunch of uh, reps, and he's another uh, very talented player for us. Uh, just a consistency, what well, we're looking for him. And Nate Regina, I think, is, a, is another uh, player that, that I feel very comfortable with on the field. So, uh, our room right now, I think we're I think we're definitely trending in the right direction. And Kyle Soto is another player that's been with us for a couple of years. And if he comes out here and you you come out to practice, you watch him make a bunch of tackles. What will be some of the separators in that position? In terms of guys who get on the field more than others. Guys that uh, you know really are showcasing the ability to finish. Um, our guys, uh, by and large, understand what to do. Now it's just you know how we finish our tackles and how we can defeat blocks because uh, we're going to get blocked. We're going to get covered up. We're going to have some one-on-one -on -one tackles. And uh, the guys that can finish in space and the guys that when contact is made, the ball stops advancing. Those are the things I'm looking for. A good amount of red zone work today. What's what's the key for you guys defensively in those situations? In those situations, we're we're all about field goal attempts. You know, it's uh, there's a lot of different times. You know, the uh, last Saturday or last Friday, uh, you know, the first play of the scrimmage was a big was an explosive play for the offense, and we got down kind of the high red. And then the mentality, it, it's all about trying to finish those drives with kicks. Um, you know, there's gonna be a bunch of opportunities to be for them to be aggressive on third and fourth downs. To see a lot of that kind of that no man's land or the go zone. Um, so it's, it's really transitioning. Uh, we have to play tighter in coverage, you know, and, and those are the things that, that as it shrinks in space, we have to get more efficient and we have to uh, get more field goal attempts in those situations. Outside linebacker, thinner than inside right now, obviously. Um, you've got Xavier coming back in the, the summer, hopefully, and then um, you got Reese and um, Jernigan and BMW. How are those guys doing so far? You know, Miles Jernigan this time last year was the guy that really took a tremendous step uh, to show that he was going to be the player that he was, and, and he's continued uh, to develop. And I think he's playing with uh, a more consistent physical approach than he than he even finished the season with. So uh, Miles is is everything that we want right now. Uh, David's done a great job coming in, and very similar to Sergio, there wasn't uh, a tremendous amount of uh, of lag, or you know, didn't take him a long time to to really get acclimated on the defense. Uh, BMW is a player that we think has all the ability to do um, within our scheme. You know, I think he can set an edge. Uh, he's an efficient rusher. Uh, so, you know, we just need to keep getting him more reps and when he's on the field, uh, you know, just playing the, as the high of level of consistency as he can. And then Nooney's a player that, that has shown us uh, flash some things. Uh, and we're just looking for more consistency out of Nooney. There's some there's some errors sometimes as a, as a younger player that he's kind of worked through. And then Sam Ross has done a uh, good job out here. You know, he's been uh, he's been active and he's gotten a lot better as well. Our uh, BMW and and uh, Miles looking at Jernigan looking more like four down players yet, or are they still evolving into that? I think both of them can do it. You know, and I think it's gonna you know that that group um, you know has to have some uh, flexibility on who's available, who we're playing. Um, so I think all those guys have the ability to do it. It's just a matter of what we want to ask them to do. Are you seeing continued progression with uh, with Nate Burrell and also uh, Ethan Saunders being a year older? Ethan's had a, a fantastic uh, spring. He's been active, uh, and you know, thing I've seen out of out of Ethan, he's been he's played physical with more consistency. 
you know, he has, there's opportunities, and you've seen times that you see him really flash in some of his physical tools, but to see him do it more consistently has been uh, great. Nate Burrell, you know, the story we know, he got here uh, late in summer last year, and, and uh, by necessity, he had a lot of opportunities to play, but you see him settling in and, you know, again, being a more consistent player, understanding all the techniques, all the alignments. So uh, he's a disruptive player for us inside as well. Coach, for the spring game, do you spend any time at all trying to scheme against what the offense is going to do? Or is it, I mean, how, what's, what's the approach for something like that? Spring game for us, we're spending zero time on the, on the scheme part. Uh, we're going to kind of pare down. We'll probably end up carrying, I don't know, we got to talk to the staff, maybe somewhere between six and eight calls. Um, and really, it's a showcase. It's, I want to see those guys go out and have a lot of fun, you know, see the guys and get lined up on their own. Uh, and, you know, I think throughout the, the entire spring, when I've talked to you guys, I think I probably said the word finish, you know, 50, 60 times. I think everybody, everybody in our defense, we have to get the capacity to finish. Uh, we can have 11 guys lined up correctly. It's not good enough anymore, you know, because when an offense is, uh, is, is moving the ball and they can throw and catch, with the, with the completion percentage that, that we're facing right now in our conference, it's not good enough covering people up and tackling them when they catch it. We have to go out and we have to knock the ball away from people. We have to rush the quarterback. And when the ball's in the air, we have to knock it down. So the whole defense needs to finish. Can you talk a little bit about your safety depth? Yeah, you know, we have some, some guys that with experience. Uh, it's still going to be very competitive. Um, you know, and, and that's, you know, it's going to be interesting to kind of see uh, you know, post April 15th, you know, the, the portal's going to open again and, and uh, we're all getting new to, to what uh, the portal means and who's going in and who's going out. But, um, you know, I think the guys have done uh, exactly what we asked them to do, uh, you know, this spring. And, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what becomes available and in what direction, um, if there's new guys or, or if, it's, if it stays status quo. Potentially, could Hunter go back to safety if you don't feel like you have enough depth there? Uh, I don't. I don't feel that's a that's a direction we'll go. I like Hunter what he's doing up front. Um, you know, I think he's, he's he's gained some weight, and I think he's he's developed in a way that that uh, I think he has a, a good future right there at that linebacker position.